Hey everyone, um, today we're going to show how to use Google Chat. Now, Google Chat is basically something that's it's now part of Google Plus and Gmail. And we can now use it for Gmail. And allows you to chat within Gmail, like programs such as Easy Chat. Yeah, Easy Chat 4.0, but it's not really an Easy Chat. The real Easy Chat is this gmail's built-in chat so all you need to do is click on gmail and here we go now it says i have one new email i'm going to click on it and we can access it all we need to do is click this button <laughs> basically i allow you to access this page um you have you have this um, available icon. You have this little here. You can set your status. Here you can set your status. Now you can select available and busy and invisible. And if you don't want to use chat, you can click sign out of chat. And when when you sign out of chat, your status will be immediately updated to offline. And to become online again, click this link saying sign into chat. And there we go. Our status is available again. We can change it at any time. We can change it to invisible. And it'll say this large red, this yellow thing saying you're invisible. And click, click, go visible. And you can. It just says offline. As these two people in chat are right now. And they will display this dark gray icon, and when you hover your mouse over it, it will say offline. And here we go. Now an orange clock indicates idle. Now you cannot set your status to this manually. All we and you can um cut this gear menu. Click help. Have the little help link right here. And at the Gmail Help Center, you can search for Gmail status. Click this little this this magnifier icon. Hmm. Gmail chat status. Click search. And click this link so you're changing your status. Red available, you're <laughs> online, ready to chat. Yellow idle, your status online with a change trial. It's for 15 minutes. You can't set your status manually to be your idle. And here we go. And we can use this rating star, these star ratings. Each star you can rate. Very helpful. And oh. And no close it. Close this. And here we go. Now, here's another part. We can call phone. And it asked me to download a voice plugin in order to make a call. So let me down. So let's download it. <coughs> click, click, click. Install voice and video chat. Install the plugin for us. <coughs> Install voice and video chat. And there we go. It will go to the installer. And now install it. It'll take a while to install. So just be patient, and the green bar will um, until you reach the end. If you're using Macintosh, um, it should this installer should look different, and it should download a file. And it says the success message saying things for installing voice and video chat. Close it. Close this tab, and. Now, you'll still not be able to make a call since you need to reload the page. 
and it'll take a while to chat and it'll take a while to say and here we go it'll say this little video camera icon appears and now you can search for dial of the fake phone number and to our fake phone number now I'm out of credit so when we call it won't do anything so let's redial a phone number it's really try and call with someone um, of this company called Adgate Media let's search for and here we go I mean I mean dollar a both of these are scams. I don't. Oh, oh, oh uh, 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 epic failure! Epic failure! Epic failure! I missed. I mistyped anything. Publisher application denied. And phone. And here my phone number. And copy. I'm out of credit, so we can't call. Paste this. Oh, fail! Epic fail. So we need to delete this. And with a 630 extension, I think, I don't really know if this is really an extension, delete it. And let's call to the United States, because I'm really in Brazil, and I, I'm, I'm originally, originally in the United States, so we'll display this phone number. And I'm out of credits, so when we click call, it will display an error message saying you do not have enough credit to make this call. And it'll call me to add credit. So we can't call anyone, but we can use the start hangout button to hang out with people. Click this button. You can click this start hangout button. Now we'll open Google Plus now. It can take a while to open Google Plus. So, oh, it's now displayed this giant window. Now it's quite large, so we need to resize it. So I need to resize it. It will now load the Google Chat Plus chat window. It's the Hangout. We can use YouTube, Google Effects, things, publish things, YouTube, hanging out with friends with friends. First of all, my friends, and each of these will be sent and invited. And we can select this checkbox saying Enable Hangouts and Air which allows you to broadcast and record. Okay, got it. I like this. Click this help, help icon. And the Hangouts on Air. Hmm. Can't do anything. Close it. And not currently starting in Hangout. Now this, you can add your contact, train picture, or chat settings. Select this link, and it will open this pane. And click this verify your settings button, and close it. And make sure you hit this radio button to on and scroll down and here we go call phones I need to add credit because you can't call anyone be from the United US because they can must um, call to my own country I can only call to my own country I can't call any other countries and here we go. One memo icon is that to uh uh it is will automatically animate. Oh Internet Explorer has stopped working. Cancel it. And you can also click change picture and it'll display dialogue. See that it'll allow you to change your picture. And here we go. And you can also add a contact. And when you click this add contact button, it will display a list of people you've emailed or previously that you've. Now, here you go. Here's the chat. The, this 
add contact window to resize it to fit to the tutorial resize it here you go you can select either of these you can select um, some of the top contacts and if you click the select all button it will select all these top contacts I'm gonna deselect one by one I can deselect one you must deselect one by one you must deselect one by one. I don't know why you can't do it and then like clicking select all again. So you must click deselect one by one. In order to invite other people, you can type email addresses here. For example, I want a person that I like. I like Hersfold. And and Delta Quad. Delta Quad. Now all we need to let's minimize this window and check. Delta Quad Wikipedia. Delta Quad Wiki at gmail.com. Copy. Just copy. And go back. And paste their email address. Just paste their email addresses here. And click the send invites button. And once the it says your invitations have been sent successfully, now you can change your display density. Currently you some compact because I like a reasonably small window for my tutorial. And that is how you can and use but wait, one more thing. You can some more things. You can set the size of the chat list to meet your needs. In this case, we want a small chat window because we don't want a lot of friends here. And we want duplicate contacts. It click all contacts to view all your contacts and invites. So It'll say these invited badges right here. Now here's how Google Chat really works. And you can click this little start a hangout button, chat with its contact, or email it. If you click this button, and here are all my chats that I've made previously. Here are the chats I've made previously with this buddy. And it says, Alexandra is offline. Messages you send will be delivered when Alexandra comes online. So I think that's it. Remember, click the subscribe button above. And if also rate and comment and favorite and and share too. Thanks for watching this friendly tutorial. I hope you liked it. Okay, goodbye.